Have you added classrooms and children to your Funshine digital account? If so, you're ready to begin recording observations for assessments. You can assess any activity and indicators you like in your daily lesson plans. To simplify the assessment process, our writers have identified and created assessment opportunities for you as well. When you're in your lesson plans, you'll see activity titles with built-in assessments highlighted in blue. Looking at this week, we can see there are five assessment opportunities. You can click the Activities to Assess button to see a list of indicators being observed with each activity. To begin creating an observation, click to open an activity. Then click the Assess button. On this page, you can select the correct date for the observation, select your classroom, and choose the indicators you're planning to assess. Notice that the indicators Funshine Writers chose to assess are already selected and highlighted in blue. Since all of the children in the Super Squirrels class are four-year-olds, I'm going to deselect the indicators for three-year-olds on this list by unchecking those checkboxes. Once the appropriate indicators are selected, click Continue. This is the observation page. At the top of the page, you see classroom and activity information. Next, you see the indicator tabs with the indicators being assessed. When you click each tab, you can read the details of each indicator below. your observation for each child in the center part of the table. Next, select the proficiency level each child achieved during the activity, either not yet, emerging, or yes for mastery. If the child was absent during this observation, leave the proficiency level set to not assessed. Did you capture a short video or take a photo during this observation? If so, you can upload the photo or video file on the right. Click choose file, Select the file to upload and click Open. Now you see the link to the photo. You can copy the photo to all children by clicking the Copy File to All box at the top of the column. Be sure you have a signed photo authorization form for each child in your group. You can find a photo authorization form in the Business Tools area of the Extras link at the top of the page. If you're observing more than one indicator, Click the tabs at the top of the table to move between the different indicators. Once you've completed your notes for the observation, click Save. To view Child Progress Reports, click Child Progress Report. Let's look at the indicators we've assessed for Annika Smith for the last few weeks. Set the date range for the assessment period, Select Annika and choose the information to include in the report. Then click Create Report. In this report, you can see all observations that have been captured about Annika during the last few weeks. Create a PDF you can download to share with families by clicking Print Report. You can also run reports that will show indicators whether they've been assessed or not, and a report that shows indicators that still need to be assessed. For more detailed information about creating digital assessments, please visit the training page and view our webinar, Introduction to Digital Assessment and Portfolios in Funshine Digital. If you have any questions about digital assessment, please don't hesitate to contact us.